In this tutorial, we're going to build the data for this database manually. This is what the finished product looks like. Uh, before we erase it all and do it again, uh, let's have a look at once we have the data, how easy it is to change. Uh, let's say I wanted to uh, get rid of this word new. Uh, I could just uh, select it here and uh, delete it. And uh, the one trick I need to make sure I remember here is that I need to get past the last double quote and hit the enter button from there. Okay, and that will make the change a permanent here. If instead I was to do something like this, let, add a new word here, and uh, click outside in the white space, you'll see that the change will not take effect. So once again, when I uh, add or delete a word, uh, I have to get past the last double quote, and then the uh, change will become uh, permanent. Okay, uh, so we've shown you how to edit it. Let's look now at how to delete an element. That's also quite simple. Let's say I wanted to uh, delete this Truman entry right here. I just click on the red X and it warns me and if I hit the delete button it will make the item go away. Similarly, if I want to add a new item, I just come over to the parent node and I just hit the plus. And these are lists that are stored here. And storing it this way is going to make it especially easy for us to communicate with App Inventor 2, which is going to be expecting lists. Uh, right here, I'm going to just put that Truman node back that I had before. Now, one interesting feature of uh, Firebase is that when you're entering a string, uh, you don't even have to put the double quotes in. It seems to know uh, which ones are numbers and which ones are strings. So if you uh, want to put it in without double quotes uh, it'll put them in for you alternatively you can put them in if you want manually okay so that's a little bit of how to edit add and uh, delete information in an existing database one other thing to note about these list structures that we see inside firebase is that the indexing as is often the case for most programming languages and database the indexing for these lists starts at zero i mention this because in app inventor 2 uh, the indexing is going to start at 1. So when we read these lists in App Inventor, even though, for example, this item here is listed as item number 0, when we read this list in, in App Inventor, the indexing is going to start at 1. So this is going to be item 1, item 2, item 3, and item 4. We just have to be wary of that when we are doing our coding inside App Inventor. Back here in App Inventor, we see that the project name happens to be President's Quiz. And this can be stored as an AIA file or as the finished product as an APK file. This particular file name is important because we need to have a node inside our database that matches this file name exactly. So in order to do that, from an empty database, the first thing we're going to do is add a new node that matches the file name of our App Inventor 2 project exactly. So we're going to add a new node, uh, President's Quiz. And instead of hitting this uh, Add button down here, we're going to hit this Teal Plus button to create a tabbed or a tree structure. And the first type of list that we're going to store in here is one to contain the questions that we're going to be asking in the quiz. So I'm going to call this tag the questions tag. And we're going to store four questions. So I'm going to hit a plus sign for each one. So we're going to start once again the indexing at zero and uh, we're going to make this question which president used the A-bomb and notice I'm not bothering to type the double quotes as uh, Firebase is smart enough to insert them for me I'm going to go ahead now and finish entering the rest of the questions okay I've gone ahead and added all the other questions to the database the next tag we're going to build is the tag that's going to contain the right answers Okay, we've got one entry here. I'm going to go ahead and add the other entries now. I'm now done entering all the questions and all the answers for our app. The only thing missing from our database now are the image files that we need for the app. It turns out that App Inventor 2 cannot easily store and retrieve images from Firebase. So in this first version, what we're going to do is we're simply going to store the names of the image files here and continue to store the actual images themselves inside the app. In an enhancement for this app, we'll eventually take those images and move them off to a separate image server so that everything can be stored in a database and nothing needs to be stored in the app. Uh, for this first version though, we're just going to store the file names.
Okay, I've stored the first one. I'm going to go ahead now and enter the rest. Okay, I've added all four of the file names and we're now pretty much ready to go.